what other people should do and put the money up. So then shut the fuck up. So then shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. If that's it, shut the fuck up. Or you gonna put the money up, then shut the fuck up. Like I say, now, the people wanna put up the money for you, babe. They ain't asked for uh, boots. Whoever putting up the money ain't saying shit. No, we wanna pay you to fight that killer boots. They ain't saying that. They ain't saying that. So, so what are we talking about over here? Well, let me start by saying this. I'm one of the guys that want to see Jerron Boots Ennis against Tans Crawford because I want to hear the excuses after the fight. Now, with that being said, who's going to put the money up for the fight? People are asking, why is Tans Crawford fighting Chris Eubanks instead of Jerron Boots Ennis? Because us hardcore fans want to see the Boots Ennis Crawford fight. The problem with that is nobody else does. The casuals don't want to see it. Saudi Arabia is not calling for it. Matchroom and Golden Boy don't want to touch it. And most of all, the promotion company that Jerron and Bozy is riding with, they're not signed to him, but they're riding with, the PBC don't even want to touch the fight. They didn't even offer Crawford a fight. They offered Crawford like some Erickson Lubin and Jamel Charlo. We don't even know when Jamel Charlo is going to be back in the ring. So when Bernie the Boxer says, put your money up, he's talking to Floyd, or he's talking to anybody else who wants the fight. This fight cannot be made without money. They're not fighting for free. Not to mention, Boots had two opportunities to fight Crawford, and it didn't happen. So the next time you say something like, Jerron Boots in and Super Fighting Crawford, Crawford's Ducking Boots. Ask yourself this question Who's gonna fund this fight? Neither Crawford or Ennis is on a network, so no offers will be sent out. Nobody's questioning what, which one's the better fight. We know Ennis and Crawford is the better matchup, but the Saudis want Chris Eubank and Crawford, which means Crawford and Eubank is bigger in the UK and Saudi Arabia than Jerron Boots Ennis and Terrence Crawford. It is what it is. The Boots Ennis and Crawford fight is not as big as people think it is. Some Tank fanboy on Twitter named Armando says if Tank knocks out Frank, he surpasses Canelo as the face of boxing, which Tank responded with, I already did. So Tank Davis is sticking to his guns saying that he's the face of boxing. Now, let's look at the real face of boxing, right? Canelo's getting $35 million or more to fight Jaime Magia. Tank tried to get that type of money in his next fight, and the PBC said no. Another thing about Canelo Alvarez, when you fight Canelo Alvarez, you can basically, basically, you can retire. You are getting life-changing money. Avni Yildrim, who is an average fighter, made two and a half million dollars fighting Canelo Alvarez. Is Frank Martin gonna make that type of money fighting Javante Davis? I doubt it. Francis Ngano, who's a novice in boxing, made $20 million fighting Anthony Joshua. Is Frank Martin gonna make that type of money fighting Javante Davis? Those are examples of faces of boxing. Anthony Joshua, you fight him, life-changing money. You fight Canelo Alvarez, life-changing money. You're instantly a millionaire. We can't say the same thing about Tank Davis, self-proclaimed face of boxing. Leonard Ellerby said itself, these guys that come over there from different promotional companies do not expect to make the same amount of money fighting Tank Davis. He's actually right. You should be making more money fighting Tank Davis if he's the face of boxing. And when Leonard Ellerby says that, that's when we know. Just one of the reasons we know is a lot of other reasons that Tank is not the face of boxing. The other reasons are accolades, Canelo's in Super Bowl commercials, and he's an ambassador of the sport. Three things Tank Davis is not. Oh yeah, don't forget about the Forbes list. And another reason why he's a face of boxing, he can make average Joes millionaires. Tank Davis does not have the ability to do that. Tank Davis is the face of cherry picking. Anyway, leave your thoughts and comments below. JBZ, I'm gone.